The sprawling homeless community at Woodland Park in Seattle has garnered a lot of attention, including by Mayor Harrell. Now that the encampment is cleared, Woodland Park is where Harrell first announced his homeless policy as a candidate last year. However, it's taken months to reach this stage of removal, and reporter Frankie Thompson joins us with a look at the park now. Frankie? From this encampment alone, the city's outreach team has referred 55 people to tiny houses and almost 20 people to shelters. But right now, this is what city crews are working on, removing piles and piles of stuff left behind from people who were living here at Woodland Park, but were asked to pack up and go. I know I grew up here. I, I had my eighth birthday here. You know, I would love to be able to have the kids come back. Things that are happening here, people have been shot and hurt and it just doesn't mix. For months, Woodland Park has grown to be one of the largest homeless encampments in Seattle. Now the city is clearing out more than 60 people and their belongings from the space. It makes me feel real bad, Seattle, that this is the only alternative to homelessness is to clean up everybody's goods and throw it in a garbage can and have no regret on doing it on top of it. Seattle police stand by as city crews tear down the tents and throw away what was left behind. For the next several days, the park will be closed as crews clean and restore it. It needs to be done. You know, they need to have their park back. You know, it's, it's, it's understandable, and we need to be in housing. Wanda says she was living here for three years until she left last month, thanks to the help of the city's HOPE team within the Human Services Department. The team does outreach connecting people to housing, shelters, and transportation. But for some, those extra resources still don't help them cover the cost of living in the Seattle metro. Some people have jobs, some people have uh, incomes. And where are the solutions to homelessness? With a lack of affordable housing, some people just move to the next encampment, like this one that's growing under I-5 between 45th and 50th streets. Washington State Department of Transportation is responsible for spaces like this, but washed-out officials say they're lacking in enforcement authority and social services to address it alone. Washed-out says before its last resort of ordering a removal, they would first offer shelter and services, storage for belongings, and ensure the safety of the people camping and its crews. But if it comes to that, where are people experiencing homelessness supposed to go next? Not Woodland Park. I hope people don't come back. I hope they offer enough housing that it gets people on their feet. Why would they want to come back? You know, it's sad. Woodland Park will be closed through next Monday, May 16th. During that time, crews will be repairing picnic shelters, public restrooms, and the grounds. Reporting in Seattle, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.